think if you take away the tiles and the picture frames, then that's it. That's kind of just any any toilet ever. Um, from the script, this is the kind of window that she sees the the carnage happen, oh, yeah. which she's hiding on the other side. Yeah. That's the kind of window that I could see it happening in, but I can't see her being in that room though. No. See anything. Unless she somehow goes into a store cupboard to, to hide. I mean, that's on the main corridor. Um, but then it's like whether the audience will then believe that she's, she's got into a store cupboard next to a toilet, toilet yeah. which obviously is true, but yeah. to the audience there might be a yeah. bit of a stretch because they're not yeah. actually here, they're not here. Yeah. Because that is odd. They have these massive rooms, right. but tiny little bits of tables. Yeah, it's in the, in the middle, middle of the room. Which actually huge makes room. them feel really quite yeah, sort of isolated in all this. I mean, look, yeah. I mean, the ceilings are Especially aren't that how, how small they are as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. I know they're not that small. I mean, but, but you've got what sort of four, yeah. five, six, you know. You've got yeah. ten kids to a class, which is kind of what we were thinking of anyway. Well, I mean, it's weird how we've got like weird standing lamps. Yeah. And they've got like, a little sink in the corner. I mean, things like that we'd probably have to take oh, out. Of course, yeah, because it looks too upmarket. It looks weird as well. Yeah. Like, it doesn't look like a classroom. <laughs> and every single classroom is connected to a different classroom through two yeah. doors. I really like the, yeah, because then you've got that sort of whole frosted glass. Got an option. I think it's right. I, I like the idea of just going, following through yeah. corridors and then the lights are changing. So yeah. and there's a corridor that only from the classrooms without yeah. the lights on. And then, I mean, some of it. It's just we'll have to consider that during the daytime. If yeah. we have shots in the corridor of the daytime, I suppose if you frame it so you don't see the lights, I mean it may not yeah. look wrong. Yeah. But I think we do have to consider yeah. that we will essentially need to imagine the lights are on, even if they aren't. Yeah. Like if we light everything yeah. into the corridor. What we can do is um, basically get this material, get this kind of black foil, and then just put a perimeter around it, and it will make it go shoot down and yeah. bounce it, yeah. which will work. Yeah. Okay. That and that obviously, cool. as long as you frame it with a very anamorphic kind of uh, format. Mm. You, you can bounce anything. it as well. Quite I easy. mean, a bit of bounce is okay, I think, because uh, we want that es essence of realism. Yeah. It's just as long as we don't yeah. get this feeling of just everything being lit the same, which sure. I completely understand that that's why you don't want yeah. that sort of lighting. It's because you just get that. But I think in the day, I mean, there'll be a lot of light coming through windows and what have you, and that will give us more, I mean, yeah. more kind of depth in the way of lighting. During half term, these cars here won't be there, and this could double as the playground. You've got the main gates which are there. You've got a hedge with the fence, which we can play around with. Um, but yeah, I mean.